There might be a few disappointed players after this video because they think that they're left court players when really they probably should be playing on the right. Hi guys, Sandy from the Paddle School here. So many players love to play on the left-hand side and they immediately say, yep, I'm a left court player without really knowing what the characteristics are from this side of the court. So in this video today, we're gonna to talk through what you should be doing from this side so you know if you are actually a left court or a right court player. So to begin with, we'll talk about the back of the court. Now from the back of the court, it's quite similar, the actual pattern of play to the right-hand side. The main difference is that this ball down the middle would be on your forehand, yet yeah, so from here you're controlling hitting those high lobs, hitting down to the feet, the chiquitas, like that from the centre of the court, and obviously your return from the side glass will be with a backhand. You can opt to use the double-handed backhand or the single-handed backhand, whether it's you know from the side glass or a normal ground stroke, but those are your main differences from the back of the court. The other difference from this side if you are playing a lot of kind of competitive paddle is that if you hit a lob and they're going to be an aggressive smash from that side and you think either they might kick the ball out or they're going to bring it back to their side more often the player on the left hand side is the one running round forward to get that because most of the time if the player smashes down and comes off the glass and they're right-handed it's going to go and drift towards this left side of the court so that's just one other consideration is that if you do hit a lob and the diagonal player is smashing most of the time you'll be the one that moves around and gets ready to defend that smash so an area where there is a big change from the right hand side to the left hand side is with the overheads and net play net play will cover a little bit more when we talk about the tactical side but with the overheads most of the time the lob will either come from central in the court or from the cross court and that means it's going to come to your open side so this allows you to be firstly more aggressive with your overheads you can use a lot more of this vibra you've also got the top spin smash which can be very difficult for your opponents either down into the fence or to try and kick for three meters but anything in this position here you can actually be really aggressive and use a little bit more of a vibra technique which is this elbow extension coming around the outside of the ball creating side spin and keeping that ball really low it's difficult to do this from the right hand side of the court so often it's a good shot for here Another situation is if it is a slightly deeper ball and it's a bit more defensive, then you can also use that elbow extension technique from further back in the court and you can hit the ball a little bit softer, almost a kind of cross between the bandeja and the vibra down into that opposite glass. It's difficult to do that and keep the ball low from the right hand side of the court. So you just have a greater array of smashes from this left hand side. You do also use the gancho as well, but that's only if that lob has come down the line and it's over your left shoulder. And more often than not, you would play it back into that corner. If you've got time to get underneath it, you would try and hit that topspin smash, or if you can get to the side, an aggressive vibra or a nice bandeja cross court into the opposite corner. So when it comes to the tactical and physical attributes of the left court player, more often than not, you need to be a little bit faster, physically fitter um, to play on this left-hand court, mainly because you cover more court. This shot down the center of the court, even to the point where you play your vibra or bandeja from slightly over the center line, and then recover back to your position means that you're actually ending up covering more ground from this side of the court. You also are the one that wants to try and be really aggressive from your side because after all, the job of the right court player, and I'll put that video up here, we did this before already for the right hand court, but the left hand side, you are basically trying to finish the ball that they've set up for you. Yep, so that means you've got to make sure that you get in a good position and whether that's closing the net down with a really fast, aggressive volley or moving back and playing a good defensive vibra slash bandeja from the center of the court and recovering your net position, it means that you have a lot of short sprints, a lot of physical uh, presence on the court, probably more so than the right-hand side of the court. Now, if you want to look at some good examples of the left-hand court from the World Paddle Tour, for example, in the women's game, you've got Marta Marrera, you've got Ari Sanchez, you've got from the men's game, Galan, Stupa, Tapia, all of these players, Teo, are really good 
from the left hand side and you can see they have aggressive smashes you can see that they move quickly up the court and they can play an aggressive style from the net they're all physical specimens yet yeah? so this is something that if you do play on the left hand side you want to make sure that you're fit enough to do so and that you can be attacking with your smashes we have so many players that come to us and ask us which side they should be playing on and we always say that if you don't have the weapon, the firepower of the aggressive overheads, and we're talking if you can't hit an aggressive Vibra or a topspin smash, and you're not so physical on the court, then either try and play on the right-hand side and get used to that side, or if you're relatively new to the game, then try both sides. You don't need to pick you know, one side or the other. Far too often we have players come you know, when they've only just started and say, I'm a left court player, without actually really having experienced both sides. You need to experience both sides, not only to help your paddle, but also to understand what your partner is doing on that side of the court. So if you are one of those players that you don't have aggressive overheads and you're not so physical on the court, then either practice still playing both sides and work on getting aggressive overheads before you make that decision or try the right hand side. And we'll put a video over here from our last week when we talked about playing the right hand side of the court and the characteristics for that side.